people choose their own God, correct? I born, I'm freedom. Nobody paying me to follow this God. If they pay me to follow this God, I need $3 million. I don't mind. Freedom of religion. That means any religion can convert. After three months, I'm not happy with the religion. I will convert to another religion. Not happy because people are still looking for the truth. So I'm not happy. I will convert to Muslim. I'm not happy. I will convert to Hinduism. I'm not happy. Convert to Buddhism or Christianity. Do you think we got this kind of freedom in Malaysia? Freedom of worship, huh? But, but guys, it's not fair to ask him. We can just check the federal constitution. The answer is no, there. Constitution, put aside. I'm asking in general, in Malaysia, because religion and politics shouldn't get involved. But in Malaysia, is getting involved. Do that you believe, Peter Song, do yeah. you think in Malaysia there's a freedom of religion, freedom of worship? People choose their own God, correct? I born, I'm freedom. Nobody paying me to follow this God. If they pay me to follow this God, I need $3 million. I don't mind. So, basically, if I want to see God, I want to choose my own God, do I have freedom of worship in Malaysia? So, sorry, Ventrava. For him, okay, for me, you pay 100 billion also. I born as a Hindu, I die, die as a Hindu. Whatever comes good or bad, this is my position. I'm talking about the law in Malaysia, Ganesh. Yes. I'm talking, is there law? Freedom of worship. Okay, answer, answer now, Freedom of Yes. You yes. sure about it? Ryan? You ask me about what is my answer. Okay, have I answered you? That no, I agree with your answer. I agree. Individual answer. You're giving individual answer, but you're not giving under the government. Let me answer you my point of view about uh, freedom of worship in Malaysia. No, it's not favorable to everybody. It's only favorable to Islam. Because if, if you are going to talk, let's say we are going to debate. But let's say some of my points can be very influencing. And they started to realize, yes, this is wrong. I want to convert to this religion now. People are doing that. And then I'll be blacklisted. I'll be wanted end of the day. The first and foremost thing we need to know is the constitution is the highest law of the land. So everything in the constitution will bind all Malaysians. It is not right for us to go and say that the laws are not fair and all that. If you really want to change any part of the constitution, you need to talk to your member of parliament. You need to convince him or her to go to parliament and try to make those changes. That's the democratic process. That's how it works here in Malaysia. So in Malaysia, we have to talk about the law of the land. We, we can have many discussions, but the thing is that, okay, we are binded by our law and, not, and, and we should not see the law as a way to suppress or oppress anybody. The law is there for a public good. Like when Ganesh say, I'm born as a Hindu and I will die as a Hindu. For me, that is not what Islam teach. Because if let's say you learned that, okay, basically 2 plus 2 is actually equal to 4. But all this while you have the understanding that 2 plus 2 is 5. So when someone show me, okay, and reason with me, 2 plus 2 is indeed 4 and not 5 as what I believe all this while, and 2 plus 2 is 4 and that is the truth, so I will follow the truth.